Hello, this is Julie Kay with episode number nine of No Leftover Scraps. In this episode, I share shabby chic dress form and fan embellishments created with leftover paper scraps. Thanks again for checking back to my channel to see what I've created this time for my No Leftover Scraps series. And this time I created two different little embellishments that can be used in all sorts of things from junk journals to card making to loaded envelopes to flip books, um, the little altered fans that people create or the altered umbrellas. Um, there's just all sorts of ideas that you can use these embellishments for. But I lately have been working with um, some Julie Nutting paper. I created um, a card for a friend here on YouTube using this French flea market paper. And then I also created some little teapots for her using um, this paper pack, which um, I do already have a video out there on how to make how to make these little teapots. So I'm not really going to go through those today on this video, but I am going to show you what I did with the leftover scraps. Um, for making those teapots and the card and so I did create two different type of embellishments and the first one was um, the ultra dress forms and then also some of these cute little fans. I am going to link um, two videos below in the description box for a couple ladies here on YouTube that do create these things. I've been making um, the ultra dress forms for a long time but I did find a really good tutorial on YouTube um, for someone that I do follow. And so I'm going to recommend if you guys want to see how you put one of these together. Because she has a really nice tutorial. And it's Brown Baby Craftaholic. And then the fan idea I actually got from Terio one here on YouTube. So I will also link her video. She has um, a video where she kind of shows her fans that she created. And then a little tutorial at the end of it. So I will link her video. Um, but both I both ladies are, are wonderful people here on YouTube. So um, I'm just going to show you real quick then what I created um, up, up closer. So again, I created those little dress forms. And I used um, this die from Sizzix. It's Tim Holtz. It's the sewing room. Sewing room die. And you can see right here. And for what I did, because I like my embellishments to be a little bit sturdy, is I did cut it out once with chipboard. And then I cut out again with some of my cream colored cardstock um, as the base. And then I cut out a smaller piece um, and I laid it just over this top part of the dress form right here. If you guys can see that, just a smaller piece of scrap paper and ran it through so that I wasn't wasting my whole sheet of paper. I'm cutting the whole thing out exactly the same and that's how I created the little pink part or on some of the dresses they're blue how I just created the smaller part um, just with a smaller scrap paper and then I also chose to add a little v-neck so I just cut a little notch into all my little dress forms on the on the scrap paper so here's the first one that I created and I usually have a little um Tupperware container sitting on my desk where I throw in leftover laces and if I just have one or two flowers left from another project I throw them in there um, leftover beads and stuff that are too small to really outline a whole card but I do save save them so I add them onto things like this so that's how that one turned out um, I think it's really cute and then another pink one that I created was this one right here And I also like how this one, I had some of this little rosette trim that I put on there. Again, some more of the um, the bead trim. And then I also added some tulle. And I got that I, this idea from um, Scrap Diva 29 here on YouTube. She had had a different um, die cut that she was cutting out. But she had added a little bit of tulle behind it. And I thought that was a really cute idea. So I kind of borrowed that idea from, from her from Erica, so that really cute idea there on that one. And then my other one that with the pink base of paper was this one, and again, I just layered up some some trim from my stash, and then some of this flat pack back um, daisy pearl trim, and then I had a little piece just for up there that I kind of added as kind of a little necklace piece. But that's what that one looks like. And then I have this one right here, again, just with some pink crochet trim and then I just edged it again with that flat back pearl daisy trim I think is what they call that and again the little necklace up there 
Um, here's another one. I really like how this one turned out. I had all this um, little fringe trim in my stash and I really haven't done much with it. And when I was going through looking for stuff that might possibly match after I used up all my little pieces in my scrap Tupperware, I came across this and I thought that would make a really cute base for a skirt on a dress. So I added that and I really like how that one turned out. And then here was my last one. And this one's that, um, I think they call it the teardrop trim. Uh, and so I added just layers of that onto the dress. You guys can maybe see it that way. And then again, some leftover bead trim that I had and added the little flower to that one. So those are my little six um, dress forms, which I think turned out really cute. And then my last little things here were, um, I had a few paper strips, which they were about six inches long like this, um, that made perfect size to make these fans. And so um, I just folded them up like you do a fan and added, there's a little bit of a flower trim behind here. And then I added the wild orchid craft flowers along with some of the pearl trim hanging off of it. I added some sentiments with a little bit of eyelash trim behind it. And I think those turned out adorable. And here's another one. And here is the last one. So again, um, hopefully that gives you guys a few more ideas on how to use some of your leftover paper scraps. So thanks so much for watching. And again, I will link those couple videos I talked about below so that you guys can see some good tutorials on how to make these. So thanks again and have a wonderful day.